going on my peeps so this is just a quick video on the subject that I seem to be covering more and more with you guys um, I made a video about um, this here but I've been getting a lot of hate a lot of uh, hate comments uh, because the video is too too long um, and I hear you okay I get it but you don't have to be a freaking uh, you know rude if you post rude comments on my channel trust me they're getting deleted I'm not even going to respond to you um, but okay so getting straight to the point here you see that this is a 7900 XT graphics card by Sapphire one of my favorite brands I love Sapphire I really do um, but they just can't seem to get away from this problem here, the weight problem, um, I think it's very obvious how warped that PCB is there. Okay, uh, let me, for example, the thermal pads here, they're two millimeter pads, okay? When I replace these two chips here, those two chips, um, I could not use two millimeter pads. I could use 2.5, which I have a ton of pads, but that that 0.5 millimeter difference will make it so that the hot spot um, will be too uh, too high, okay? Because the core won't be making contact with the heat sink. Um, it's, 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 in other words, it's just too big. So what I have to end up doing is using thermal putty. I don't like this stuff, but it's a necessary evil when you uh, encounter a situation like this. So I have bought this stuff from my favorite place in the world, China. And uh, this does okay. If you wanna know where I got it from, ask me, I will post the link. I will give you the link where I got it from. And it works, yeah, it, it's, it's decent, decent stuff. It's not the best in the world. Um, 13 watts per meter Kelvin, you are right. I don't trust that. You shouldn't either because that's just marketing. Uh, when it comes to, you know, practicality, it's a whole different thing. But anyway, so back to this thing here. Um, the reason why I'm talking about this and I'm bringing this up again is because, okay, that that's that's where, okay, that's where the PCB is straight right there. And then you wham, you see that there. Why does this happen? It happens because you have your card installed in your PC like this. Okay, now this is a 3060 Ti. This is a small card. I don't need any support here. Uh, is uh, I don't need to install it uh, vertically. It's just fine the way it is. However, you can still kill these cards and have them end up on my desk or somewhere else in the world uh, by doing one thing. When you open up your case and you start tinkering with wires and, you know, doing stuff, trying to pass wires through here or through here, and you're doing this, like bumping into the card or, you know, you're moving the car like this. Uh, and th those movements, they're subtle movements here. OK, at the very front, as you can see there. OK, you don't really see. But here in the back. That's that's a lot, okay, um, and that's go that's going to cause crack joints under your GPU core, and under your memory pads close to the PCI slot. Uh, so when you're going to do, be doing some work inside of your case, and it has to do with cable management or anything like that, please remove your graphics card out of the case. Do your wiring, do everything. This should be installed last. And if it's already a build that you have, remove it anyway, okay? Just to keep it safe so you don't keep bumping into it, doing this crap, because you're going to kill it. It's fine like this, as long as it's a two fan card or something light like this, it's not a problem. It can be installed uh, horizontally. Um, but something like this here. This is a 6800 XT. Um, I'll be honest with you, these cars do not need to be this large. They don't. Um, 
they could get away with something uh, more efficient, you know, get a little more creative, maybe a vapor chamber or something like that, and keep it a, a two-slot card even. But they want to go the cheaper route and just put a slap a big old heavy heat sink on there and it causes these problems okay if you look at the pcb you see that bow there right there right at the pci slot um this card has a problem i already diagnosed it. it's these two chips here let's see if i can get a good view here those two memory chips there need to be replaced Okay. or revolved. Uh, I'll probably just do the latter. Um, otherwise, the card is perfectly fine, but it has been installed horizontally for so long, who knows how long, that the PCB is just bowed, okay? Which, which again, we'll come back to this one. Um, you cannot fix this. This bow here, this warping of the, uh, the PCB right there, you can't fix it. And when you go back and take your card apart um, and try to use the recommended thermal pad size, when you get to the PCI slot area here and you have something like this, those thermal pads are not gonna fit, okay? So you're gonna be in a world of trouble. Uh, and no, please don't go and stacking them up like uh, adding a two millimeter and then plus a 0.5 millimeter pad. Please don't do that. That is just asking for trouble. Um, this is why I keep telling you guys. Install. If you're going to get a car like this. If you have the money to get a car this expensive. Or like a 5080 or 7900X. Whatever the case. You get what I'm saying. Please use a third party vertical mount. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what it is that, like, I made that video. Uh, which video is it? Let's see. Um, da, 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 this video here. Okay. This video. Um, it's like you guys didn't get what I was trying to say. Some of you, not all of you. I'm pretty sure most of you get the point. But um, you didn't get what I'm trying to say maybe because I made the video too long I talked too much like I'm doing right now I just bought this another vertical mount um, this one it was on sale so I got it for a pretty good price uh, this is a Fantex vertical mount this is the one that I use in all my builds simple easy to put together it comes with a riser 4.0. I'm pretty sure they're going to start releasing them with a 5.0 interface or PCIe 5.0 ver revision. Uh, but 4.0 is plenty of speed. Anyway, um, if you're going to buy a heavy graphics card, please get yourself one of these, man. Okay? You are going to kill your graphics card. Your graphics card is eventually, if it's if it's an expensive heavy graphics card, and you have it installed horizontally, without support, you're going. It's going to die. And if you if you if you're one of those that connects the power cables through, like for example, through here, right? They come like this, and then you connect the cables like that, and then you use the cables as kind of like support, like pulling the graphics card up like that. That is also going to destroy your graphics card. <laughs> it's, it, you're going to mess up your your uh, your PCB. It's, you're going to warp it the opposite way. Don't do that. Um, you support correctly. Loosen up the screw with the graphics card installed like this. Add your support. Level it, and then tighten up your screw. Okay, just like that. If it's a heavy graphics card and you do not want to use supports for whatever reason, get yourself one of these. They're not that expensive compared to the repair cost. This card here, this is $110 for me to repair this. This is not cheap. These are expensive memory chips, uh, GDDR6, but they're SC20, so 20 gigabit per second memory. 
Um, and uh, yeah, so if you don't, if you do not want to pay the cost for repair, just install your graphics card vertically. No, I am not talking about using your case's vertical mount option. That is not what I'm talking about. That's not what I was talking about in the other video either. I was talking about this, using a third party vertical mount. That's it. That's it. And just to end the video, so I know you guys love it when I rant so long about this stuff. Um, this card is uh it's just oxide on the back i have to work on that i have to reflow a bunch of components this one here same problem as the uh 7900 xtx or xt same problem here i have to remove those chips i have to remove these chips here um and i already uh removed this chip the, the same chips on this that's uh, my latest repair <sighs> i'm not <sighs> I'm trying to help you guys, man. I'm just trying to give you good advice so that you have a happy life with your expensive GPU. I'm not trying to be a jerk or a smart ass or a know-it-all. Not at all. I'm just trying to keep your graphics card alive so you can be happy. That's all. Peace.